Hi everyone! We're back with our second podcast! Krista, I'm excited for this. Smile. <laughs> no, uh, it really doesn't show. <laughs> Don't you feel the same though? Well, the thing is, if you know what we're talking about, like, yeah, it's like, ah, they say you. <laughs> okay, let's get started with the second podcast. Why are you so much more calm than me? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but thank you so much! Alright, so, uh, <laughs> if you don't know, by our title call, yes, I'll say you this, this month is Shimazaki Nobunaga. <laughs> To celebrate his birthday, which is actually today. Yes, we're recording this on his birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Zaki! Tanjobi, omedetou gozaimasu, Shimasaki-san. Just call him Yome. Like seriously. What? What? In public, I have to call him Shimasaki. I mean, he might go like, "Why are you calling me Yome?" And it might ruin his pride as a man okay <laughs> <laughs> right on the off chat he'll actually listen to this but yeah for future reference i will be calling him zaki okay for future reference i might call him shimazaki and occasionally yome just call him yome it's so much it's awkward hearing you calling him shimazaki oh, well okay fine yome yome so as promised in the previous podcast i'll mention how i get to know this month's seiyu and so i get to know yome back when he was sakurai ryo in kuroko no basuke back in 2012 at first i had the impression that oh this seiyu is cute has a cute voice but they didn't look up what he looks like <laughs> And then I get to hear more of Sakurai in Kiseki no Game. Oh. <laughs> and that game was cute. I mean, I did get to know Sakurai better there. Wait, wait, that, that onsen scene. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a lot, lots of onsen scenes. <laughs> and then... Yeah, I have... From there, I have Shimazaki's name on my mind. And then a friend mentioned to me that, oh, he's voicing... Ippon Matsu Yamato in Storm Lover 2nd and my friend mentioned that he has a lower range there and she mentioned that Shimazaki Nobunaga and I'm like oh he voiced Sakurai and, and then I'm curious and at first when I fr- listened to Yamato I'm like oh oh wow I, I like this I like his deep range and and then Free was starting back then <laughs> free has start had started back then and said friend mentioned that he's there shimazaki's there and so i got curious and i watched it and and i go oh wow this is also, okay this is his deep voice but the one the top cherry on top why do i get to remember him it's because Nobunaga from Vanquish Brothers. <laughs> I swear, uh. Richard, you're... You just... <sighs> I lost. I lost. I hate I you! Just... Why? I think we both lost it when we listened to that. But that... we'll cover that later in the drama CD section. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, um... You you started out with uh, Zaki in Kuroko no Basuke, right? <clears throat> yeah. I oh I actually don't really remember much, but um, from like, I really liked Gete no Hana because you know, Koi was finally releasing a new game and it was you know, Oda Nobunaga, <laughs> and then I played through Mori Namaru's route, which is him. I I. Like, I liked his voice. I didn't take notice of his name. It was like, oh, hey, there's a guy called Nobunaga voicing this character in a game where there's Nobunaga. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that he screamed, Nobunaga <laughs> Um, When I actually... Uh, I paid more attention probably when he appeared again in Storm Lava Second. Then I, I, I went and checked him out. And it's like, holy shit, Sakurai. That cute Sakurai from Kuroko no Basuke. And then... Um, <laughs> 
you know how free was you know this really big thing when the CM played in Kill Annie, and then they had um <clears throat> the they introduced the cast live. I was watching the stream, and then on Twitter, I was like, "Who the heck is this Nobunaga guy?" I'm like, "Holy shit, this Nobunaga!" Who's <laughs> <And> this Nobunaga? <laughs> Then literally everybody was like, oh yeah, I know, you know, I know Yonaga, I know uh, Miyano, I know, you know, Hiradai and Tatsun. Who is this Nobunaga? I'm like, oh my god, Nobunaga. Uh-huh. Haruka! Yeah, so after that, I just kind of got more and more into him. I even went back into his old Otoge. <laughs> and then, and then now, now he's in Dayano S as... Yeah, I'm also watching Diana Ace too. <laughs> the problem I have with him is just his character speaks less. But when he speaks, it's like, shit, I want to hug this guy. It's so cute. <laughs> there was this bit where he's kind of depressed about um, not getting to fully um, pitch the whole entire game. Um, uh-huh. in, in the baseball, right? In, I think it was the latest episode. And then, so at night, he's really, you know, grumpy. But he gets really happy as well. It's like, oh, I don't know how to explain this. Oh. I screenshotted him so many times. <laughs> yeah, Furia can be, can well, Furia has his random moments where he'll say, uh, I want to eat crab omelette. I want to <laughs> do this. I want to do that. And yeah, it makes him cute. Like, Oh, you're actually a dork too. <laughs> he is. He's just a yakubaka. Okay, so what do we love about Yome? I wanna die from cunes and dokis. <laughs> just making me tell why do I love about him makes me die. <laughs> <laughs> too much too much to say, don't know how to express. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. First of all, I like, I love his wide range. I mean, if you listen to his deep voices, if you compare them to his natural voice, it really sounds different. But at the same time, there's this, if you even notice it though, uh, in my opinion, I noticed this uh, gentle, this gentle weight or... I don't know how to explain it properly, but in every voice, there's this gentleness that I can hear. I I know what you mean. It's it's like, even though his voice is high or low, there's there's like that little underlying, I don't don't know what you call it, though. Yeah, I know, right? It's hard to explain. When he goes low, he can get growly, which is, like, it's not that really, really deep growl where you have you know the more mature voices like uh sakurai <laughs> sakupion does but um mm. it, that, 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 i don't know oh. <laughs> um people please help us describe what it is <laughs> like here here i'll give you like an example it's it's in um you know the storm lover um to opening and then they released the album and there's the solo opening that zaki sings there's like this yeah. section where he's like Bokuja dame na no? Right? Uh, Oreja damika. Oreja I, I don't remember. Oreja damika. That, that low voice, because before he goes, Daisuki da zo. And it's high, and then he goes, Oreja damika. Low, so it's like, <sighs> compare those two, and you will see that underlying, I don't know, growliness, gentleness, whatever you call it. <laughs> Yeah, and and other than that, I also love his smile. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't appreciate his smile? Whenever he smiles, everything follows. <gasps> <laughs> I thought you wouldn't get to that. <laughs> his How smile... will I not get to that? His smile is so blinding. <sighs> uh... C- confession, confession. I have... A folder of pictures of just Zaki smiling, and it's gone over probably 30 pictures in like the span of one week. Really? Yeah, well, okay, confession. I also have a folder with Yome. 
smiling a lot for majority of it. And um, oh, by the way, yeah, a little trivia. I think it might be connected to why he smiles like that. But apparently, he wanted to become a dentist. Really? Yeah, he wanted to become a dentist, but he finds it hard to study. So, oh, wow. Yeah, between, yeah, I mean, like in between being a seiyu and being a dentist, so in the end, he chose being a seiyu, seiyu because in, um, instead of not trying, you'll regret for not trying. Yeah, he, he'll just try and regret it later. So. Mm-hmm. It's good that he tried, but oh, I think it would be nice if he'll he'll be a dentist too. If he's a dentist, it'd be like oh, it wouldn't be oh shit. I have a dentist appointment today. It's more like yes, dentist appointment. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And then but you I... see him, mm-hmm. and then you see him smiling, going oh good morning, and then you see his smile and be like oh my gosh, I want to visit my dentist every day. <laughs> Oh, but yeah. I mean, it's yeah. He did become a dentist, but I apparently his mom encouraged him to take you know the um auditions and stuff, right? So thank you, Shimazaki Mama. (laughs) Thank you. Yeah, his mom is supportive, and well, he lives in a peaceful family. He yeah. has a father and a little brother and a little sister. Yeah. Ah. Oh. You don't think <laughs> he has younger siblings? Cause like he, um, when you see his interactions with other siblings, cause like, I mean he is still one of the younger ones. It's like, mm-hmm. Kohai, you're totally the younger brother type. <laughs> yeah, but in Vanquish Brothers, <coughs> free talk. He mentioned that. He's the eldest, so yeah, that's his similarity with Nobunaga. Yeah, Both of them are a- the apart from the name. Family. Apart from the name. Apart from the name, yes. <laughs> Aside from the name. He's like, hi guys, I am Nobunaga, voicing Nobunaga. <laughs> yes. He said that twice, twice. Yeah, he intentionally because fan surface, I hate you, Yomer, why? <laughs> I think he was pretty excited about getting casted as that as well. Back to his smile, by the way. He was featured mm-hmm. in Junon, right? That that really pretty boy magazine. <laughs> yes, the pretty boy magazine. And he's the only seiyu who took you outside. E- e- we had a stroll with him. Eguchi and Ken were like at home, like, fine, it's fine if uh, you're Ken's Yoma. <coughs> um, mm. You can eat goro at home. Uh-huh. But Zaki, Zaki, he took you out. And it's like, oh, are you cold? Put scarf around. And, oh, do you want some manji? Hi, hanbunko. <laughs> hanbunko, he said. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here, have your share. <laughs> I think he ate it. And it's like, oh, he took a bite. It's like, oh, did you want some? Here. <laughs> Shut up. No, go away. <laughs> I went through the interview and like, oh, God, he's... He's so perfect. Yeah, he's that ideal guy. I mean, he's the one who let, who follow ladies first. Mm, and he's the type to really think about a lot of stuff before he jumps into a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And and even though we say his smile is lovely, like he's like, oh, but I want what I like in a girl is their smile. I'm like, she. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you, you, um, I have smile fetish because of you. It intensify it, and say and say and you saying that. Oh, I also like girls with good smiles, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm getting ashamed of myself. <laughs> so are you? She was actually flailing won't ever end at this point. Okay, let's now go to the Otome game. But I don't want to. <laughs> We have to. Damn it. All right. <laughs> Say who? Say you. So, Atomic Game Pickup. I haven't been playing. As usual. God damn it. <laughs> so, pretty much recent play is going to be like my section now. 
soon I'll have I'll get to speak for that. How soon? soon. Is soon. How soon is soon? Because Gete no Hana 2 is coming out. Uh, I still need to play the, uh, the original, the first one. Oh, when you play, please count how many times Zaki screams Nobunaga-sama. Okay, sure. <laughs> Make a tally. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways, recent plays in Ultima games. Well, related to Zaki, probably the latest one would be Strobe Mania. Um, his very first Otoge, and then the Snowbound Land. And then Glass Heart Princess, which we mentioned last time. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so Strip Mania. Um, I have to admit, I didn't play through the whole game. Did you only play Shimazaki's character? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Well, okay. <laughs> it's not like I'm biased or anything, right? It's literally... Okay. You look... <laughs> Shut up. You look at the game, you look at all the characters, and I instantly go into, hey, there's a blondie. Oh, hey, he has an earring. Oh, shit, wait. He's a, an idol. <laughs> so I went for him, and then... <sighs> it was Zaki. Zaki going, senpai? Or, eh, dame desu ka? <gasps> Holy shit! Shut up. <laughs> <sighs> it, it, the plot... Spoilers, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Um, it's pretty much, you're like this person. <laughs> this girl, okay. basically. <laughs> okay, this girl. <laughs> You've broken rules about, like, you know, going out um, and doing a part-time job kind of thing. Because um, in high school, you're not allowed to do a part-time job. And then um, the guy in charge of the dormitory finds you and you also break his camera and so as a price you have to work for him in which is the newspaper club and newspaper club and the student council are having some kind of fight over oh you know who should give out the information and all that crap um pretty much you get to know zaki's character uh yayoi I just remember his first name. He's called Saijo Yayoi, right? And so you get to know him, you uh-huh. get to know other people, and then so you k- just keep visiting him every day. You get to know how uh, he wants to be an idol, what kind of stuff he goes through, and yeah, you know, he knows karate or something. Like, he's really good at it. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, um... Because you're not like his other fans. Um, like, uh, they're all, yeah, yeah, you like him, blah, blah, blah. You're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like your music. Cool, stop. So he takes an interest in you. And it's just, <sighs> all the time, eh, senpai, oh, you're here. Uh, yeah, I just can't, came because I heard music. Really? Are you sure you didn't come to see me? <laughs> Shut up, Zaki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I really liked the game. Well, I liked the route just for him kind of being called Akuma, being cute. But then having, he actually has a goal, um, you know, something he, a dream. And I don't know. I, I really like characters that have a dream and just go towards it. And then you just kind of help him towards it. And like, yeah. It was just, just help them keep motivated on getting their dreams i guess so because he doesn't he didn't actually take um you know being an idol quite seriously before because he's like oh as long as i have my my fans whatever but then um later on he does take it seriously because of something and then there's actually something bigger going on in the background please play it just like even just that route you probably know the main idea of what's going on or or really axel for you just play it for zaki Okay. Uh, going, fine, senpai. I will play it. It's just going, senpai, daishoubu desu ka? Oh no, shut up, you kohai, no. <laughs> <laughs> eh, senpai, boku ni ai ni kita no? Okay, stop it. Let's move on with your <laughs> recent, recent place. It's no bound land and I see you're going... F- have you're being so happy about snowbound then and now you get to save your dad now what do you mean save my dad oh my happy happy it was despair despair it was Why? Despair. Why? did you please follow my twitter tag well actually i finished his route but basically i tagged it bound my kokoro in, kan- in kanji i bound my kokoro kai <sighs> 
Kai. So, Kai is voiced by Kimura Ryohei, my danna. Like we said before, you know, like a piece of the mirror goes into him so he becomes cold, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, at the start, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, there's not much difference because um, he's really nice and then he's cold, but he changes back. So, um, I, I still see quite a lot of the nice Kai. It's after Red World and Yellow World. Yellow World. Yellow World is... <sighs> How do I say this? You know that feeling where you know you like each other? But he's like, I hate you. And he's crying. And he's like really pain in pain. He says... I, okay, spoiler. He confesses in the Yellow World. But pretty much straight after he goes, I don't like you. Kimi nanka. Kimi nanka. Suki, suki janai. And it's like, but you just confessed. What are you saying that you hate me right now? Why? Wait, what, what is this? Is this an oxymoron? There's an oxymoron here. You just... Okay, so he confessed. Yep. And he says that he hates you after. What is this? <laughs> Like, it's like a scene after. Um, he confesses, yeah, you get the kiss, and then he uh, says he hates you because of uh, something else. Yeah. Like, he has his own situation. That's why. And then um, it really, really starts hurting towards the end of the yellow world. And also green and white world because he really does start getting cold and then you start liking the cold Kai and because like they like even though he's cold the old Kai is still kind of within him so so uh, my Kokoro was kind of like crumbling wait is it because it's hard to choose between the old Kai and the cold Kai or no um you don't actually choose between the Kais it's more you see him mentally suffering as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that enough? Can I not talk about Snowbound Man? Well, feel free to go to Glassheart Princess Platinum if you want to. Uh, <laughs> what do I say? <laughs> what do I say about GHP? Uh, I died in Yukito's root. I died in Shinosuke's root. <laughs> Guy's root just, you know, lost nail in my coffin. <laughs> Kawakuma! Kawakuma! And, and before you died in every root. I'll focus on Guy because you don't really know much about him in the original game. Um, let's see. I also tagged my um, guy adventures as uh what was it? G G H P G D I guy. Yeah, so it was Glassheart Princess God damn it guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did that on purpose. It was like alliteration. I'm like, why not? Um I also set my um system voice as guy and so he's like <sighs> Wait, Domiji guy voiced by Matsuoka, Matsuoka Yoshitsugu, <laughs> which is like bestie of Who Zaki. Is, yes, best friend. Yoma's best friend. Yeah, um, I think, I don't know, probably most people know him from Sword Art Online, because um, that's his first major uh, role in anime. And then um, he, his voice is kind of high-ish there, but damn, young guy, then eight years later guy is... Whoa, high voice, low voice. Mm -hmm. Please don't say Oshioki in that low voice. I think uh, his natural voice is that low, though, I think. Mm. Uh, he might have pushed it a little down when he does Guy, but um, in, his normal voice is kind of probably towards that side. Um, but yeah, Guy is, you know, from if you've played the first game, that you know that Guy kind of hates you. Um, so yes. making him hear him his uh, 
fiance was revenge um but but really the way you see him getting jealous and how possessive he is and the the actual little dates he takes you on he really does care for you he he does he just Aww. he just uses the revenge as an excuse to stay by your side so it's like uh, and then and then everything kind of crashes down like you know comes crash like crashing down because he doesn't know about your um glass heart syndrome right and that kind of uh yeah it, it kind of starts again and then so that completely breaks everything so in the end of his route did you did he get to know that kyoko has glass heart syndrome yeah he does he does and um it's a happy end like i think seriously you can only get a happy end in the fan disc I don't want to spoil the ending because this ending is actually quite sweet. So, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to everybody in GHP. Okay. Last thing before we move on to our interested titles. How's the resort? Did you try out the resort route or the resort story? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I did. Um. So that happens. Um. In between. The school festival, I think, and also the ending. It's kind of like that that time where each character has started to realize that they like Kyoko, and and um, I don't know. I, what got to me was probably Yukito because you guys go and exchange bracelets, and I chose Aquamarine, which is like you know completely perfect for Yukito, and I forgot what it means. Oh. Something about being happy and something about marriage. Anyways, um, the stone he chooses for you is rose quartz. Why rose quartz? He said, "Oh, I don't know the meaning about you know the um, the stone. It just fits you, right? It just suits you." But to me, rose quartz has like a really deep meaning because every damn thief. Loves the rose quartz. Well, not really. It's just Lupin. Um, it it kind of means uh, lasting love or like you're my only love or something. And it has a really big impact because some thief decide to leave you after confessing and um, they just leave you with a rose quartz. I see. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, the resort route was really, really cute, and um, the the dates were also cute. And Satsuki, Satsuki was Satsuki's route was Sasuga Otaku. Everything is Sasuga Otaku in that route. Yeah, Sasuga Satsuki, more like. <laughs> no, there's there's not a lot that I can reveal without trying like completely ruining it. And because it's a short game, I don't want to ruin it. It's a short game, but it seems like it has a lot of... You can do a lot of things there. Mm, yeah. Um, it, even though the choices don't actually affect what ending you get, um, I would recommend you go through each and every choice because reactions are really funny. It's GHP. That's about it. But yeah... <sighs> Off to the interested section. <laughs> so to tie up with this month's featured seiyu, I'm interested in Prince Pia Carrot. Basically, it's a PC game which features a lot of guys working in a cafe for this famous among women. And the heroine started working there part-time during summer. And she's the only female worker there. Ooh. Ooh, reverse harem. Well, it is an ordinary game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. What I like, what made me interested in this game, aside from Shimasaki being in there, is that I like the system, and I think the game's going to be cute. What made me sad about it is that they moved back the release date, which One is second. around March. Oh, damn. <sighs> I don't know, everything's being delayed like lately. I mean, I, I've heard about Prince Piacar. I've seen a few information thingies. I never actually looked into it. I only know that Saki's in it. And like, they have sample voices up, so I kind of went straight through that and didn't look at anything else. 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to look much on this too, but I'm interested whenever I see the uh, game system. It made me hook up to this game. Like, oh, I want to hear Yome and I want to walk around and uh, how cute. Little dates with Yome. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there will be a winter date because Zaki likes winter. Oh, holy crap. I like winter too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Prince Pia Carrot. Maybe, uh, I haven't actually, yeah, looked into that lately, but maybe, maybe when there's new information, I'll be like, more sample yeah, voices, please. When, when there are more updates. Mm. But I, at the moment, I like the art. I like the cast. I like the sample yeah. voices. Please go listen to it. <laughs> Even if it's just Saki's one. Linking to Prince Fear Carrot. Well, not so much linking, it's more like, hey, Zaki's also in this game. <laughs> um, it's mm-hmm. Iza Shitsujin Koikusa 2. It's the second game. And yeah, Zaki's in it. So is my Danna. <laughs> yeah, he's voicing, uh, Shimazaki's voicing my Maeda Keiji. And basically, it's a Sengoku Jedi team game. Along with the first one. Yeah, the first one's already... Um, It was the Sengoku times where you had Oda Nobunaga, Tatema Samen... I don't yeah, remember. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, I'm not getting the names wrong. Anyways, it's like there's, there's big gu- the big guns. Um, And then Iza Shitsujin also has Oda... Like, you've got a few um characters overlapping. Um, I'm sure Sasuke is in it that um but but other than that i'm just like danna and zaki please yeah mm-hmm. i i don't actually remember <laughs> what character kimurari ohe is voicing <laughs> i just remember i just remember his um because i think they set up her into two sides and mm-hmm. his side has Zaki is in his side. Um, Kimune, the Nojiken Papa, is there. Um, so Nojima Kenji and, and Tachibana Shinosuke is there as well. Was was Ono Kensho casted in this game? I don't remember. Yeah, if I if I okay, if my eyes aren't fooling me, yes, he's there in it. He's there too. Yeah, so my only complaint is why is Osaka not there? Osaka Ryota. And, and why is Suzuki Yuto not there? Why is Mayume not there? But hey, speaking of your Yome, though, speaking of Suzu Yu, he's in Joelic Nightmare. <laughs> so be happy about Joelic Nightmare. There's Joelic Nightmare. Yes, which is another game I'm really looking forward to. Like, <sighs> same here. <sighs> Yesterday or the day, I don't know when it was, but they updated a video. Julik Nightmare's site updated a video where Zuki was playing through the game. Really? Uh, he's okay, so Zuki is known for really actually liking Otome game. So I guess that's probably one of the reasons why he they asked him to um play it and and he played through the prologue got to meet everybody in real life also got to meet everybody in um the um dream the world, dream world right um <clears throat> uh, he's i don't know how to explain this but it's it's so cute and 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 then when he said he said um that if you have your name on default then everybody calls you by your name Unless it's like, um, you know, where you calls you um, onna, like woman. Um, and then mm-hmm. he says, oh, yeah, but if you change your name, that's fine. Because um, Safi or, you know, Ashi, his, his character, right, will call you mm-hmm. Onne-san. Oh, how cute. His character will call you Onne-san. And I'm like, don't do this to me. I'm the type that loves using the default name because lately all the games are um, pronouncing the heroine's name, but uh-huh. 
But he says that he'll call you on this on some more on this and if I change it. So it's like, do I change for your roof or do I keep default name? But isn't it the character himself? Well, either Safi or Aoshi will call you Nessa since you're obviously older than them. Well, I'm not sure with Safi, but with Aoshi at least. Yeah, yeah. I like. I'm pretty sure normally he'll call you Onesa, but it's probably towards the later bits where you know the m- more romance is like there, where he starts calling you by your first name or something. If you change it, he'll call you Onesa. Forever. <laughs> yeah, forever. I'm like, do I want to do this? But I, I mean, have you heard him say Onesa? You want to hear him say Onesa throughout the whole game? But it's, it's, uh, it's, he says Onesa, and it's such a cute way. It's just, oh my kokoro. Motanai yo, motanai. Be careful though, be careful. Not to get much into Ness. Their Ness song craziness. <laughs> You can blame Ken for it. For being Futo and calling you Nesan, but um yeah. Nessan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um I I always thought that Aoshi Osafi was um a trickster, but he's not. He just looks like one. Mm, I see. He just dresses up like one. Okay. So in Joelic Nightmare, the characters I'm interested at, well, aside from Safi, because birdstone-wise, he has my birdstone. Our birdstone. (laughs) Okay, our birdstone. And I also like Adamus. Ah. But my ultimate favorite there is Ko and Ryu, voiced by Kakehara Tetsuya. I think Ryu is going to be... A fun character. <laughs> Looks like a fun character. He calls you Onna. <laughs> Onna. He calls you woman. It's like so so disrespectful, but I can't hate you. You can't hate him just because he's hot. Or <laughs> <laughs> he's red. <laughs> he's red. Yeah. Uh yeah. But um <clears throat> you know how you mentioned Sapphire, right? About um being out of stone. Just going back to Zaki, uh, not Zaki, Zuki. <laughs> okay, you got them confused. <laughs> no, it's like, it's really hard because it's just one letter difference. Back to my yome, not your yome. I'll call him Suzuyu. Suzuyu said in the video that, because uh, he got asked, oh, if you were to um, send a jewel to anyone, what would you send or something like that? And he's like, oh... Well, my birthstone is emerald, and I would like to, you know, it'd be nice to kind of swap birthstones with the person I like. And I'm like, hi there, mm-hmm. I'm Sapphire. <laughs> <laughs> swap, okay. please. Swap, please. <laughs> swap, with, swap with you, okay? Hmm, that's cute of him to say that. So cute. Oh, and speaking of birthstones, though, I noticed that. All of the gems are birdstones, actually. Ah. Um, yeah, in order, it, mm-hmm. Adamus is diamond, oh. then Emmer is emerald, and so April, May, then June is actually Alexandrite. Oh. And for Ruby is, Ruby is for July, then mm-hmm. Sapphire is our birdstone, so yeah, September. What happens I wonder. I wonder though if their real life counterparts share birthdays with said birdstones or something. Oh, oh, I haven't checked into that. That'd be interesting. Yeah, like Ko is actually uh, Ko's birthday is July and all sorts of stuff. Ooh, but then what happened to August? Yeah, maybe it's Machura. Okay, no. I'm not sure with August, but maybe he skipped it. Or maybe if Joelic Nightmare will have a another game and they'll fill up fill that one up. Uh, unless it's just kind of just a coincidence they decided to go, oh yeah. Um, you know. Let's skip August. <laughs> yeah. We'll do mm-hmm. what May, June, July, skip August, September kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Julie Nightmare. I can't wait. I can't. I love the opening. Yeah, I can. 
Ken did a great performance on that song. <sighs> it was on repeat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I looped it too. I mean, it came out with um, Mei Koi's opening as well. I listened to both. Eidolon. Uh-huh. Uh, Eidolon still takes it. Um, just, uh... yeah, I, I like Eidolon, yeah. It's actually pronounced Eidolon. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eidolon. That's why I think... And if you research the meaning... I mean, if you look up for the meaning of Eidolon, it actually means um, a phantom. So probably... This is the root word of, or this is where the word idol originated. Moving on, the last section of this corner is the recommended games and promotions and promote. So, oh, well, <laughs> if we're hmm? linking it to Zaki, right? If we're linking it to Zaki. Still uh-huh. mother two, still mother two for Kaicho. He's so cute there. Ah, and the Bakapuru scene. He said, he said he um, you know, a lot of the voice actors um find it hard to do the Bakapuru scenes. But he's like, oh yeah, um, I actually found that the part the easiest. In in the interview, he said that he found the Bakapuru scenes the easiest. I'm like, <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> wow, just how much do you know about this? Zaki? <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of went through all his interviews and read them and then like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know this much about my Dana, which is kind of sad. Well, it's because probably you have more resources when it comes to Shimazaki. Maybe you have more. Oh, well, he is getting more interviews lately and I've been actually going and searching for those interviews. So probably that's why. It's kind of hard to dig up old interviews. Yeah, well, they are old, so... Shush. Shush. They're, they're old. No, they're no, Kimini is only oh. nine years older than me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and and, and Zuki's not that much older. Jeez. Yeah, well, from if I remember it right, uh, Suzuki Yuto is 1989. Yeah, one which... year younger than Zaki. But he started earlier than Shimazaki. Shut up. <laughs> he did start it earlier than Shimazaki. I swear. I know. He did. I know. I know he did. Like he does other stuff as well, not just to say you. Yeah. Just. <sighs> okay. So, I guess along with recommending Storm Lover Second, mm. we're also recommending doing Storm Lover Kai and Storm Lover Natsukoi. If you want that light summer well, life. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, I like Storm Lover better because even though it's kind of, uh, it seems like, oh, what plot kind of thing, I, I found each individual story was better written. While the Storm Lover 2, maybe it's because I got used to Storm Lover. System's exactly the same. I feel like the stories kind of went like similarly as well. But you know, just uh... did it lack originality? Yeah, it did. It did. But Zaki and Shina. Sorry, I mean um. <laughs> Kaito. Well, Yamato. 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 Yamato and Shina okay. and Shina made my day. It's just those two was so cute. I think though you, the player or the listener should do the game chronologically so they would understand where the senpais came from and where Shiina came from. Mm. Yeah, because you do get to see the senpai and like each character gets paired up with the senpai. Um, and and you know how Zaki voiced uh, Haruka from Free, right? And there's also Makoto uh-huh. there and he calls him Makoto. It's okay, you, uh-huh. can, hear, you can hear Zaki say Mako-chan in this game. Oh yeah, I mean, I did get to listen to some of the samples, and yeah, he's, he goes Mako Chan, Mako Chan. So cute, so cute. Yeah, and Mako Chan is Eguchi, Eguchi Takia. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But other than that, for you, Axel, please go what? play Get No Hana. Please do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game, uh, Get No Hana is the game that I. First sign up for Kensho, 
then knowing that Shimazaki is there, uh, okay, fine, fine, I will play it. I actually signed up for. I played it after Eikoku Tante Mysteria or something, so I think I kind of went, oh my god, Matsukaze. Then I looked at the cast and I went, fudge! No, you can. I went straight for Akechi. Then I saw Ono Kenshiro and then Zaki, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> it was a good game. From what I heard, it's short, mm. but it's full voiced. Yes. Finally, a fully voiced Koi game. Apart from, you know, Lakota, which we got remade. But finally. You know, this game is going to come back and haunt you forever, Axel, until you play it. Because no. Fan Disc is coming out. Fan Disc is coming no. out. No. And no. I, will, I will be playing it and I will be mentioning you on Twitter. No! <laughs> Stop it, Nissan. <laughs> yeah! Alright, so pretty much that's it for recommend and promoting like which games and yeah. Honestly, just go play all the games that we've mentioned if you're interested in it. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to play them soon once I get to figure out how how to have access on mm. these games. For the sake of Shimazaki, I'll play all these games. <laughs> <laughs> And then pray that he will be in more. Yeah, on to Drama City Pickup. Say who? Say you.